Hello and welcome to another devlog of our multiplayer cave game. These two weeks we've been working on the entity system. We added only two mobs, but we definitely plan to add a whole lot more. The first one is this guy, Mr. Bob. It spawns in the mushroom biome and basically just walks around. He's completely passive and will not hurt the player. Its AI seems quite simple, but surprisingly it actually took me a while to get it working. One of the hardest parts is letting him know when to jump and when to turn around. I used ray casting to check if there's a block above or in front of him. And after a few changes to the code, it worked quite well. The second mob we added was this guy. It still doesn't have a name yet. It spawns in the crystal biome and basically just floats around. It will not attack the player unless the player hits him. But there's a slight issue, the player doesn't have a weapon and can't hit him. So I quickly made a sword in a sprite and made it so the player can swing it. It looks a bit rough because we still need to add some particles and sound effects, but the most important thing is that it works. So back to our mom. When you hit it, it will shoot a projectile that slowly travels in the direction of the player. I also made it so you can change the fire rate of the projectiles. Anyway, the projectile is still a placeholder and we're probably gonna change it soon. After 20 seconds of attacking, our enemy will get bored and get back to its idle state. You might be wondering how the mobs actually spawn. The way it does is very similar to how it does in Minecraft. First, when a chain gets loaded, we check the mob count around it. If there are too many mobs in this area, we're just not gonna add more. Then we select a random mob based on the biome, check if we have place for it, and then spawn it. We also have to bring it to the ground if it's a walking mob like Mr. Bob. Now you might have noticed these two health bars. The red one shows your health, and the orange one shows your hunger. Yes, we're gonna have hunger in our game. We still haven't decided on how exactly it's gonna work, but it's not gonna be anything too crazy. You eat, your hunger refills, your health refills, and yeah, that's kind of it. I added a mushroom item, which is currently the only source of food. Mushrooms will also have a cool effect when eaten, if you know what I mean. I've talked about this in the previous devlogs, but one of the most important mechanics of our game is chunk loading. I've reworked it like 5 times before, but even after all these reworks, it still had a slight problem, which was collision. When we're generating a chunk, we obviously want to generate a collision shape for it. But as I learned, it's very expensive to do that, and can create a pretty big lag spike. So I fixed this problem by not generating it at all. It's a pretty awful approach, to be honest, but by knowing the block map, I can generate little 2D collision boxes around the player at runtime. It took me a while, but it totally paid off. We have a completely smooth chunk loading system, and I really hope I will not have to redo it anytime soon. So our game is a block-based game, and every single block-based game uses per-block lighting. It's a really cool technique that makes it so you can't see through walls, and adds a lot to the atmosphere. So obviously, I wanted to implement it to the game. And well, after a couple of tries, this is the best result I've got. It has terrible performance, and it would probably crash Unity with more than one light. I read a million resources about this topic, link in the description, but I just couldn't get it to look right. I think it's because our game has blocks that are quite big, while on the other side, Terraria and Starbound use much smaller blocks, which probably create higher quality lighting. I don't know. If you have any ideas, comment down below. During these two weeks, we also added a very nice looking tree to the jungle biome, fixed like a million bucks, and also I added a console to the game, which doesn't look good at all, but that's not the point of it. Currently you can add any item to your inventory, and that's really gonna help out with testing our game. We also started working on the main menu, but we'll finish it up in the next devlog. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And that's kind of it. In the next devlog we'll be adding some extremely boring and tedious stuff like saving and some networking stuff. We will also add some new biomes and enemies. Oh, and thanks a lot for 170 subscribers and all the positive comments. That means a lot to us. 
Don't forget to join our Discord and thanks for watching. See you later.